Hi. What's going on? What's happening? What's your name? Brandon. Why are you here, Brandon? Uh, I'm here to record album two. For? Worm Shepherd. How are you feeling about it? I like it. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. You're man. The new WWE champion. My throat is bread. What? This man. What is it? Can you just put like a <laughs> Whoa. Just put like a Whoa. Yeah, that's it. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. No, put the Roblox sound on there. Put the Roblox. Ooh! Ooh! Every time. Whoa. Whoa, goddamn Roblox. That's gross. Alright, that's so heavy. You know what's heavy? Your mom's so heavy. Dude, it's just so <laughs> I'm Brandon. I play guitar for Warm Shepherd. Me and Devin started this band back in 2019. Hello, my name's Leo. Uh, I'm 18. Recently 18, and I play drums. I'm Devin, I do vocals for Worm Shepherd. I've been doing vocals for six years now, almost six years. Um, I was originally doing metalcore stuff before this, um, but I just wanted to go a bit more into the blackened side, and I met a bunch of, a lot of people actually hit me up to do stuff with, and the people I have in the band now are definitely like, would always be my picks out of everybody. And, so I started Worm Shepherd with Brandon in January 2020. I'm Ryan, I play guitar. So I got uh, into Worm Shepherd through Brandon. Him and I had played shows uh, previously in different bands. Uh, we shared a very similar uh, practice space. And when him and Devin started talking about the projects, uh, he reached out to me needing a bassist. And from there, again, bass to guitar, and here we are tracking album two. I found Devin in 2019, uh, yeah, after the Frozen Lake dropped, so probably around December, and I remember I was sitting at school with my friend, and I was just like, dude, this guy is sick, we gotta hit him up, and I did, and I was like, if you ever need a drummer, hit me up, and a couple months later, he was like, yo, I got this new project, and I was like, I'm in, and then that was that. We started writing in, um, I want to say, February 2020, and now, a whole year later, here we are, album number two. Over time, Brandon and I kept jamming and jamming, and I would just pick up his guitar and try something, and then kind of just stopped bringing the bass over and started bringing the guitar over, and slowly just incorporated myself into the guitarist, or the second guitarist for Warm Shepherd. And then a little while after that, Trey came in, and it, the three of us just meshed really, really well, and it gave us a, a different dynamic than a lot of bands might have, having three guitarists and three different writing styles, three different minds. It's I think that's really helps with the sound that we're now getting out of our, our musicianship. Um, so I've been a part of Warm Shepherd officially since the 26th of uh, December 2020 when we released the well, we released the album on the 25th, they announced me a day after. I met Devin through uh, our old band, Ascensions of Azrael, and then uh, he asked me if I was interested in playing guitar for Warm Shepherd. And then uh, eventually I actually wrote the uh, intro for Chasm Dweller as my um, tryout song, and they ended up loving it so much, they just put me in the band without even hearing the full material, <laughs> so it was pretty cool.
people are in this. You're gonna break my knee. Can you help me up? I can't get up. I'm s- The uh, process has been really fun. Cody's made it just like being at home, honestly. It's super comfortable. Everything's uh, really nice. He listens to what uh, we want and um, even throws his own stuff in there and really adds a lot of, I should say, pop to everything. So um, the experience has just been so humbling and just so incredible. I'm still baffled that it's happening, but I'm very grateful. <laughs> Everything sounds just amazing, top tier, it's so hard to fathom. <laughs> so working with Cody is so simple, especially being here. I can literally walk to the other room and do something really quick or text somebody and then come back and continue tracking as opposed to having a time constraint. Um, and luckily I didn't even have that last record, but it's, it's more of that ease that I, I didn't think anybody else could really give me because I hadn't experienced anybody else. He definitely makes it easy for me and I also get a lot more confidence with him because he's definitely pushing me and he's also gassing me up anytime I need to and it makes me go through these songs a lot faster than I would if I was by myself. It's, it's, it's very smooth. Cody has the mind and the, the ability to, to add things and Everything he's recommended has fit better than what we could have even imagined. And it's such a smooth process, and it's definitely been a lot of fun to work with. Um, Chalice of Rebirth would probably be my favorite song. Um, that was the first song that I wrote for the record, and that is the most emotional one to me personally. I know every band is likes to say, oh, this record definitely hits me in the feels, but like, this some of the songs literally showed me declining and going to a mental hospital for them it definitely took its toll on me i mean writing songs like that at 17 and having them come out like that is definitely it takes a lot out of you and it's like the sleepless nights like doing school work and having to write songs like that along with the stress of figuring out whether i'm gonna go to college or not and thinking about cars, finances, expenses, and then losing relatives, which was unfortunate for me. Um, it was definitely a lot on me, and I think it really bled out through the songs. The title track is extremely personal, not that the rest of the record isn't, but the entire album, aside from The Court of Owls, is more so about me and my experiences in the spiritual realm versus being on Earth. I definitely did not have the best time growing up in terms of how I treated my family because of it and they had no way to explain it either. So it's kind of like 12 year old me asking for help. I mean I've gotten that help now. The hauntings have gotten worse. I think they're going to keep getting worse but it's also going to make me write more better shit for everybody. Definitely makes me think more. I'm able to handle more and now that I have a happy life when I'm awake, it's, it's definitely I'd live this life ten times over. And it's because of everybody around me, and I love everyone so much. Anybody that listens, that bought anything, it just they, I don't think they understand how much we appreciate everything that has been done. Thank you for the support, all the love. Uh, it's very humbling, and um, we love all you guys, and without you guys and the fans, we... Uh, we wouldn't be anything, so we really love your support. Thank you for all the support. Thank you, Jamie, at Unique Leader Records for uh, giving us an opportunity to be on such an amazing label and taking care of us, and we look forward to touring all around the U.S. and Europe. I can't wait to see everybody because doing music has definitely saved me from a horrific path I could have taken, and 
now that I'm here, I want to also do that for other people, help them get their bands moving. I don't want people to make mistakes, and people that don't want to do music, like if you're just a fan of what we do, or my message speaks to you, or if you experience the same things I experience, always talk to me, always come up to me at a show, I'll take fucking as much time as you need. I want to hear everybody's story because those stories can also be spoken out through a louder voice. And when that louder voice reaches more people, more people feel connected and I feel like nobody feels connected anymore. Uh, 